few more miracles. He called him Theodosius. In the town of Vasiliev, near Kiev, there were some previous pious people who were uh, uh, living there. They were Christians and uh, the parents of St. Theodosius. As soon as Theodosius was born, his parents brought him um, to the priest after eight days so that it can, he can give him his name. The priest, as soon as he laid eyes on him, he um, said that he foresaid that with the eyes of his soul that even though that he was very little, he would be devoted to God and so he called him Theodosius. Theodosius, Theodosius means the person who is given to God. After 40 days, the, the child was baptized. The little one grew up under, under the love of his parents and by the grace of the Lord, he became um, better and better every day. Not long after that, his parents decided to m move away to another town called Kursk. That was a uh, god economy because there it was um, St. Theodosius' uh, um, destiny to enlighten with his um, beautiful life all the other people in, over there and give them strength and a lot of miracles. In that city, he grew up um, physically and spiritually and his powers, uh, his spiritual powers were became better and better every day. He grew up in, wins in wisdom and the love of God. He was um, also pleading his uh, parents to leave them, to leave him uh, um, study the Holy Scriptures. They allowed him to do so. So very, uh, very soon he became. Uh, became knowledge, knowledgeable of all the Holy Scriptures and uh, everybody was uh, surprised by his wisdom, his knowledge and his uh, understanding of the Holy Scriptures and uh, also the, um, uh, the speedness of his learning. Uh, prayers, kneeling on the ground and tears. At night, St. Theodosius of Kiev uh, was always uh, praying with a lot of um, kneeling down and tears. He paid gratitude and glorified the Lord for all, his, all the good things that he gave him. A lot of times he, they were understanding uh, 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 he, uh, the good brothers understood that he was praying and uh, all those people uh, understood that uh, he was communicating with God uh, before the, the bells uh, ring uh, for the brothers to get up to get up the ecclesiastical uh, monk the monk who was in charge of the, the temple was slowly moving towards his cell, the cell of, of the saint, so that he can get blessing. As he was ne coming near, he listened to him praying um, very fearfully, very um, intensely, crying and being on the ground, kneeling. And he was holding his hand, he was hitting his hands, he was hitting his head on the ground. Uh, so, for a, for a while, he was afraid, and um, he went uh, a, fair, a little further away and started uh, walking again uh, more powerfully so that uh, the saint could hear him. So, when the saint saw him coming, understood that he was coming, uh, he uh, uh, stopped praying and pretended to be asleep. He, hold, he hit the door and uh, the, um, 
the person uh, who was in charge of the church uh, saying um, bless me dear father he didn't answer when the, the the knocking was heard for the third time then uh, he pretended the same pretended that he was just waking up and uh, he was answering the lord jesus christ may be with you my child uh, then he uh, was the first to go into the church and that was what he do all night long now uh let's read about how the saint theodosius of kiev was a very harsh to himself uh he uh, was making everybody be surprised he and the other brothers uh with uh, his fasting his very very own bravery and his walk and, uh, and his working all the time he was humiliated and uh, humble toward, towards others he is uh, he was patient towards others and he was willing to uh, help everybody he was carrying water or wood from the forest from the forest sometimes while the brothers were sleeping he gathered the um the seed and uh, that the the what uh, what all the brothers had to do by themselves and uh, by themselves and he was grind, gr grounding it by himself or by himself he was working and, and praying all night long some nights there were a lot of mosquitoes in the area and so that he could um uh, practice himself he was uh, going out at night out of the cave he let his body naked to from the middle and above and and he let himself be stunk by uh, the mosquitoes while uh, with his hands he was making baskets and his um lips were uh, always always uh, um saying uh hymns and uh, uh praying for the lord to the lord even though his body was full of uh, stunk and he was full of blood he remained still in his position all night long till the early hours of the morning uh, then he went to the holy temple for the um for the, fi the divine liturgy and uh, uh, during the whole liturgy he wasn't moving at all from his position not even taking his mind out uh, of for the prayers so everybody was lo loved him everybody was uh, everybody loved him and the brothers had him as a father and admired him uh, very very much for his own humiliation and uh, his own um humiliation and uh, obedience to the others this is coming from the pater father fraternal fater, uh, book of the um the saints of uh the graves of uh of Kiev, all the saints of Kiev. Now we continue about the life of Saint Theodosius of Kiev. In the next miracle, we will see how humiliated, how deeply humble and very simple person was Saint Theodosius of Kiev. Someday the, the, Saint, the Saint Theodosius visited the pious uh, first first monk of um Isislava Is Isislavo who uh, stayed away from the, the town of Kiev. 
in the visit he the visit was made longer until night in his coming back the uh, in his coming back the holy father of theodosius uh, of kievo the the person who uh, was holding um the person who was taking him to uh, his place uh, the, the the holy father gave him a big um a big car so that uh, a car was uh, driven by horses horse driven and uh, he made him it made he made it so comfortable and uh, that would help him uh, during the nightly uh, the nightly voyage in the streets little theodosius who was um in the streets the little one who was driving the car saw that the osius um with those poor um clothes that he was wearing and but he couldn't understand he couldn't even imagine that he was a, a leading monk and tell him very abruptly hey black one black one because he was wearing black well black hey black one you will be sitting here all day long and be jealous and be lazy i always work and i want to sleep in the carriage then because you are very very um uh, very very uh, untired you haven't tired yourself come and sit on the horse so that you can drive through you can drive the carriage and i would go to bed the ocean the uh, the saint was very uh, very pleased of what he heard and see he, he saw that um, he had humiliation to do that and he got up very very gladly and sat on the horse praying the lord and with a lot of joy he helped the little one get up and lie on, on in the carriage after uh, uh, in uh, the in er, early in the morning he was seeing in the street there um, the people who were wearing uh, uniforms who were uh, leading uh, who were leading themselves towards um, the holy father he went uh, he from uh, far away saw them and uh, he showed them and they showed him they knew sent uh, the saint theodosius and once as soon as they became closer they got off their houses so that he, they can bow to him so the saint told the little one here you are child uh, it uh, it is day now come and sit in the, the horse yourself the little one was seeing everybody uh, meeting themselves and bowing to the saint. He was petrified of fear and sat on the horse trembling. He, the little one was afraid seeing all those people meeting and bowing before the saint. And he was petrified by the fear and sat sat on the horse trembling moving along they met more and more people who were very um very rich who were and bowing in front of the saint and the fear of the little uh, little boy was getting bigger and bigger when they reached the monastery and got off the horses all the monks um bow, uh, started bowing in front of the saint and that thing made the little one more and more fearful about what he had seen and uh, they made him uh, thinking who's that person who everybody is bowing in front of him the saint took him by the hand and led him to the to the big table there there he ordered to give to give him, to be given something to eat and after that they he offered them some uh, money and let him return to his village.
all that became known by the little one by by the little one himself uh, because he was uh, saying all that to his brother's monks because the the saint never said anything uh, to anybody that is from the archbishop uh, um, Timotheos the saint Theodosius of Kiev pages 56 55 and 56 